Hello and uh, welcome to another watercolour demonstration. Today we're going to be looking at uh, winter trees. So we're just going to get straight into this. We're going to going to pop them into a uh, into a landscape. Uh, we've got a field coming in here, ploughed field. And obviously with uh, winter trees, we want to make sure that we're just getting the spirit of the tree, the kind of, just the bare bones of it really. So this tree in winter, we're gonna keep it simple. We're coming down here, a bit of a fence here to tie this up to the landscape. Uh, we'll have a little gate here. Just an opening just there. A bit more fencing. And then in the distance, we'll just have some mist. So this is a very simple uh, demonstration. We've got some clear water. Just gonna pop that in there. We're gonna create a misty effect with this. Um, going in for some raw sienna. Just get that across our just an initial wash there. I'll do. And then we will touch a little bit of this raw sienna in the horizon there and we'll have blue blue grey coming down just merging into there and that's that we've got to wait for that to dry and we'll go into the next part okay so part two this is dry enough now to get into the next part. Again we're going to stick with a, a bluey sort of grey. Going to mix that into some of what we had there and just indicate some trees in the background. We'll keep it a bit weaker here for impact, <clears throat> weaker in tone. And then just let this do its own thing. We'll just pop in some clear water in here so it can just blend and bleed up a bit. <clears throat> so very wintry. I just want to slightly vary the height of the trees here. There we go. So we've got some uh, soft edges as you can see and we've got some hard edges here and it's always good good plan to have for some variety and obviously our focal point is going to be this uh, winter tree let's just sort this out here just get to the edge so that will do we're gonna to have to let that dry off but we can still work on this foreground a little bit um, here in the palette I had some burnt sienna so we'll pop some of that in there we go taking the eye towards the tree with these lines popping a bit more liquid down the front here The reason we're putting in more tone is to push this back to darker tone down there in the front. Uh, slightly, let's just mix it up here. Just the tip of the brush, look, you can see. My hand's way back on the handle, I'm not in close, keeping it loose. 
they got a nice bit of granulation going on there. Pop in some of this ultramarine blue as well, just to add a bit more depth. these pads is because there's lots more paper underneath they tend to push up from underneath but easily solvable okay so when that's all dry we'll just come with the final bits which is to put in uh, the tree and the fence and then it'll be done so while this is still damp I'm <clears throat> just gonna put in a couple of these uh, scratches you have to get those at the right time otherwise they like this one they'll completely backfill <clears throat> that actually doesn't look too bad but it's, it's a little bit about timing on these and whether we're gonna scrape in deeper or not that one seems to work better and there we go we can overdo it on here but let's just have a fun with it let's have a few in here May just create a little bit of a highlight, and that's it. Okay, so we're ready to uh, finish off this painting. I've gone to a number two um, a Skoda brush here. I'm just going to mix up some colour first. Though. Let's take this burnt umber. versions of that. Put that to one side by adding some blue in here and making this a bit darker. See what this does. Again holding the brush near the tip and gently lifting off as we go up to get to the tip of this. So we start out bigger and lifting off. Start out bigger. Lifting off. The same again. You don't have to stick directly to the lines underneath. Just fill this in here a bit. And make this tree a bit bigger down here. shortened a bit I think that means just so it's just coming around there we go it's quite nice and I like this to cross into this part of the tree and we'll just take it up a little bit higher we'll have the other mixture here for the fence Scent. Give them a different direction in some parts, don't want them all the same. Practice going across, look, practice before I actually touch the paper. don't want to do in, in any kind of painting but especially in these small watercolors is to have strange 
gaps. You want the, you, you design the eye, but don't design the eye to go into the darkest dark and the lightest light here with the tree. And obviously we've got a little gap here, which is fine because this has taken us this way. But if we left big gaps here and big gaps here, the, the eye will tend to go over there and you, you kind of want it to go all in one, one area, one direction. Just pop in a few of these dark notes in here. Just to guide the eye, a little bit of dry brush look on there. So it's not much paint. And give the impression of, of uh, tracks coming in here. And we're kind of done. We can fiddle with this all day long, but to be honest, less is more, as I say. Good. Just mix it up a little bit there. There you go. And then, finally, finally, mix up some shadow colour. Blue and crimson, basically. Got some crimson in here. And we're just gonna run some across the bottom, uh, decide on which way the light is coming in. So I think we'll have the shadows coming off here, so there, there could be a bit of a shadow. Off of this tree. And then we'll pop in, imagine there's uh, some more trees over this side. Just get a bit more pigment in here, we'll paint, especially lower down in the shadow, which will push everything back and it creates more impact if we have wishy-washy shadows you're not going to get much impact. Let me go to the number two brush there. And I think that'll do it. I think I'm happy enough with that to stay as it is, really. Plenty of light in there. Um, finished, except I'm just going to go in with this Payne's Grey mixture. Look at that, whoa, nice and dark just to come on this side, not everywhere, on this right hand side of the tree, to give the impression um, of a shadow. And again, that creates more, more impact. Just dot that in there, let it bleed down, do its own thing. Get my finger, spread out that. Could actually mix this up a little bit here. By mix it up, I mean just, if you have everything the same tone, it's pretty boring. We have to be a bit careful not to overdo it. There we go. Stop. He says, still feeling around. That's it. We're done. Okay. Thanks for that. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed that demonstration. Remember to like, to subscribe, uh, to ring that notification bell. And uh, winter trees. I'll see you next time. Take care now and happy painting.